first, um, my name is Benga Onoyiga. Um, I'm the Vice uh, President Communication of the uh, Center for Attitudinal Healing in Nigeria. And uh, professionally, I'm a journalist, you know, and uh, I'm the Deputy Director in charge of uh, news and the national radio, you know, that is a federal radio corporation of Nigeria, otherwise known as uh, Radio Nigeria. Um, I'm also the National Vice President of uh, the Nigeria Union of Journalists and um, yes, I'm equally a member of the National Council of the African Peer Review Mechanism representing the media. Um, uh, I'm a board member of the Nigerian Press Council as well as uh, a member of uh, even the chairman of the Publicity, Publicity Subcommittee of the National Council on the uh, privatization, which is headed by the Vice President of Nigeria. And we're talking about attitudinal healing now. Yes, our mentor, our mother, and the founder of uh, the center here in Nigeria, Ambassador Boyagbola, um, invited us, and uh, me in particular, to join this uh, group. And I felt so honored and delighted because you know, the objectives of the center I tally with uh, my own belief, you know, particularly the message of love and forgiveness. He you know, uh, brought us up, trained us, and uh, uh, I feel so proud to say, yes, I'm one of, the, I'm one of our converts. And uh, yes, we'll need more training, you know, training and retraining, so as to spread the message to every part of uh, this uh, great country called Nigeria because uh, that's exactly what we need at this stage of our national uh, life. And uh, with other members of this center in Nigeria, I believe the sky is the limit, because uh, she, the, the passion is there as the president and founder of Nigeria. She's so passionate about it, and every opportunity she has to sell the message, she has always taken advantage, and she knows quite well that uh, is she can't do it alone and then she will need to brush some people up you know, and uh, train some people to take over from her or to complement her effort and uh, in spite of our tight schedule we still try to squeeze out time to get a better train and to have deeper knowledge about attitudinal healing and then uh, yes some of us have not been privileged to talk directly with the founder base in the u.s but she has always, always uh, passed on the message to us, particularly after the Thursday, Thursday interaction on uh, the Skype. Or, uh, and sincerely, uh, we are just starting as far as I'm concerned. Yes, the message has spread to some parts of the country, but I said we've just started because uh, we still have a lot to do, but we are determined to get the message right to the grassroots and to get it to even the, 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 the highest quarters, right from the government house to even the primary school. And I'm also happy about the focus of the program. She has told us that yes, we should focus as much as possible on the youth. And that's why any time from now, we've, uh, we'll move to the various uh, colleges around to spread the message, to catch them young, as they usually say. And we are highly optimistic that uh, will succeed in this onerous task, which is uh, selfless, which is aimed at uh, refocusing this country, which is uh, aimed at uh, building a better future for this country and uh, for the youth of uh, a great country, Nigeria. Thank you.